Hi everyone, welcome back to this new video. Um, in this video I will show you how to create a dramatic podium with this lantern that you can download from polyheaven.com. It's a free model made for Blender. And uh, with a podium uh, I want to create a strongest contrast render of this uh, lantern. So let's begin. Uh, first of all, I want to create my backdrop. So I had a new plane, for example. Scale it up, something like this. Move in this direction. And now I want to extrude this edge upwards to create my backdrop. A very simple one. Okay. I want to adjust the, the distance from my podium and now it's time to set up my camera so I shift A, create a new camera put it on zero and position, in, position it where I want to be I set the direction of my camera to 19 degrees and zero on the X, Y axis zoom and position in the better uh, view for my render. Now in the settings of my camera I set up a more strong focal length to maybe 105 millimeters. Yes, works fine. I move it backwards just a little bit and use my composition guide to see the position of my camera in my scene so I want to have a more height perspective but I won't use this shift value to move just a little bit back down sorry the my composition to center the lantern on it okay now it's time to set it up my environment. Uh, I leave it black for the moment and I create my first area light. Now I will rotate it on uh, I'm sorry on my x axis by 90 degrees. To create a side light and I think I put it in a rectangular shape and increase the size on my x-axis to about two meters and let's see what it look like okay it's a good starting point now we can adjust the position of the light to create a more nicer look so I put it back a little bit and move it more in a frontal space to create this reflection on my podium and rotate just a little bit something like this I think the power of this light is too much lighter so I increase it to maybe uh, 150 watts okay looks nice for me now it's time to work with my background to create a more nicer contrasted look I want a more dark background so I create a new material for my plane and set the color to a more black look something like this could be fine for me okay I... now it's time to rotate my lamp just a little bit to 
visualize better the, the shapes of this uh, cap here and also the, the, the side of my lamps with uh, with my my lights uh, after doing this I I think it's a, a good idea to create a little bit of light on the the black parts of my image and to do this I go to my word properties and increase just a little bit the power of the word something like this very little so I can see just a little bit of the reflection here and see just a little better the details on the dark areas of my of my lamps the last thing to do is uh, to create a spotlight to create a rim light effects on my back side of my lamps here so I move it upwards and position it on the back of my lamp move it, rotate it by 90 degrees on the x axis and as you can see we start to see the, the rim light effects I don't want this in, uh, mo in this very hard mode so I simply move it on the left of my lamp something like this rotate it just a little bit and I want to increase the spot side to something like 60 degrees as you can see I create also this rim on this uh, podium that is made of metal I show you later the setup of this material and I think it's time to reduce the power to 5 watts and just move just a little bit on the left more my lights here as you can see I have reduced the effects of the rim light on these parts but I create this nicer look on, uh, on the, this nicer rim on top of the podium base maybe we can try to rotate it just a little bit more to emphasize just this kind of rim here and now it's time to check it up the, the podium material I show you it in a moment so go to the shader editor as you can see I have uh, my principal BSDF with a metallic aspect with a roughness controlled by this surface, imper surface imperfections uh, map you can find a lot of this kind of map in Google and uh, I've controlled it with a color ramp to create a better result for my not a very hard uh, result for my roughness and also I have connected it to, my, uh, to a bump node this one to create a little bit of uh, elevation and scratches on top of my material and that is the result of this uh, simple metal looking for uh, have some reflection on the base of my product here and just a little bit of frame of the light to emphasize the contrast of the of the image for the final adjustment I think it's better to reduce a bit the the color of my wall here and also we had to play with the color management and here in the look I think it's a very good option to 
put the high contrast mode to create a more fancy look of this uh, lamp. Now I think it's too hard the contrast, so I reduce a bit the the color of uh, increase a bit the the brightness of the material of the backdrop. Something like this works well for me, and also I wanna increase just a little bit the word color to see more clearly some details of my lamp something like this worked fine for me last thing I want to try I think is go to my 3d mode and just move a little bit this lamp Maybe we can try to re re restore the zero rotation on the x-axis and move just a little bit closer on my subject. Something like this. And maybe we can try to increase the distance of my backdrops or reduce it. Yes. By reducing it, I create these more shadows on, on the backdrop. I think it's nicer. And uh, the last thing to do is set up the, the camera depth of field. So I go to my camera, enable depth of field. As you can see now, the, the whole scene is out of focus. And now with this picker, I'm going to select the lantern to put it in, on focus. And maybe we can try to reduce the, the f-stop to, to 1.8 to increase the contrast of the depth of field of, my, of, the, of this scene. This is my final result. As you can see, you can use this uh, kind of scene to create any kind of product renderings for your product, for your design, and so on anything else i hope you enjoyed and if you want to support me please check my store on uh, gumroad and uh, my page on instagram see you at the next video bye